A coalition of civil societies is calling on the National Assembly to expeditiously pass the Electoral Reform Act. The coalition says the Solidnevel Iron Act has run the fresh amendments in all cycle governorship elections coming up in Anambra on November 6. Ferdinand Roja tells us more. The Alliance for Civil Society Organizations for Expansion of Electoral and Democratic Space has returned to the National Assembly with their demands. Having failed to meet three timelines to pass the Electoral Reform Act, the group has challenged the lawmakers to urgently carry out the promised reforms. The National Assembly is responsible for the bad conduct of primaries that we witnessed in Anna Brasil and they must take that blame. But we don't want it to go beyond that. And that is why we don't want this same bad conduct to repeat itself during the governorship election on November 6, 2021. So it's important for National Assembly to take this into account. The coalition is joined by a presidential aspirant, Kingsley Mogalu. He says the government must create systems that discourage rigging. If for various reasons it is not possible at this time to have electronic voting, we will go for what is best in the circumstances. And I believe that what the bill, uh, as we have advocated, contains, which is electronic transmission of results from polling units to INEC offices without any interference, and the votes are counted in front of everybody, and the results are transmitted electronically. We believe that if this system is, is properly administered, for now, it will, it will suffice. To, to increase the confidence of Nigerians that their votes will count and be counted. The group is also asking that the demands of the bill should not be compromised. Information are flying around that there are ploys to water down the bill to, re to remove some, you know, some essential demands that Nigerians put forward. And so we are using this opportunity that whatever that is worth doing, is what doing well. The quality of the bill will not be negotiated with the legislator. Nigerians, we want to see what they put forward. And that any ploy to water down this bill in terms of quality, in terms of just passing it for passing sake, will be resisted by the people. INEC had pledged to tighten loose ends and lapses observed in the conduct of the 2019 election. This is why Nigerians are calling on the lawmakers to rework the Electoral Act to empower it to carry out promised reforms in election conduct. Ferdinand Duroha, Arise News. By the coordinator of uh, Speak Out Africa initiative, uh, Mr. Kenneth Eze. Kenneth, thank you so much for being here tonight with us on the program. And of course, let's start with the fact that um, the National Assembly, especially the upper chamber, they had mm. actually made a promise, uh, speaking about the, the president, that he had said before they go on recess sometime in July, they would actually make sure they pass not just this electoral act, but even the PIB. Why is the CSO not, why are you not giving them the benefit of a doubt to wait and see before this protest is? Okay. being organized okay thank you um the statement you just mentioned came after our press conference today um coincidentally we had a press conference at the national assembly gates and while we were there uh, one of the principal officer possibly the senior president or his deputy they passed they came so we had our press conference earlier before they now made a promise and oh, the promise and, I'm speaking about for was your not question. from today. Okay. The promise okay, was now, not from and today. To yeah, go yeah, back to your promises, this, oh, well, the one you are talking about in the next two weeks uh, is mm -hmm. the one they made, the speaker made today. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, and to go back to why are we not, is because uh, this is the third time the same National Assembly had promised Nigerians. First was that by March, this will be... This. They kept shifting the post. Mm -hmm. And the truth is that we all know what if we, we have to be learning from lessons. The last time the president had cited reasons, one was that there are some minute uh, points and mistakes or something that was not clear where they should have will. They had share. And the other one was that even if he had signed it at that time, that the INEC, it is not feasible because of the time. And so we don't want such to have to repeat itself. And so on that note, we said the INEC, we have also engaged the INEC, we'll be privy to engage INEC and to know. And if we are going to actually give INEC a bill, 
This is not just amendment. This is an, a repealing and an enactment of a fresh bill. If we are going to do that, INEC must have ample time so that Nigeria will, is, will not take another excuse again. And oh. so there's going to be test running. They are going to they need to implement it. Right. They've already done that in Nasarawa. They've been doing such a thing. But this in this case in a liar scale. And so we believe that Nigerians are not asking for too much All right. let, let, from their let, legislators let, to give them a, a, a clean bill. All right. That let, will strengthen the electoral Absolutely. process in Nigeria. Let me come in there. When CSOs I just remember the office, I think I was watching you on that uh, on that uh, report. Maybe report. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I think I, I just remember now. All right, when CSO said there should be no doctoring, what do you exactly mean? Because they may not pass everything hook, line, and sinker the way it gets to them because that's why they are uh, the legislature. For example, what we meant is this. Uh, we, we all know the case of, for example, the PIB bill. At some point... We started hearing that we have many versions of it. Some persons said this is the version they had, what they had, I mean, the past uh, National Assembly. Now, they have been, we've been private to information that a lot of things they've been, of course, that is why they are there to work and rework. But there are things, there are ingredients, the essentials such that as Nigeria, such as electronic transfer of their votes. We don't mm. longer want to be losing our core members, security agents just in the process of conveying votes from polling units to collation center manually. And I think that's a major, major part and of what yes. they want to do. Now, the INEC has admitted that with what they have on ground, technological and their capacity really? now, they will not be able to be able to do electronic voting. And that is why we say now. But the card reader has the, reform the, the, the card process. reader because we don't have all the, the luxury of time. The card reader, as it stands right now, can actually transmit the results electronically. But voting, yes, it's a different kettle of fish. Right. But as we wrap up this conversation, now you have gone out on that protest today at the National Assembly. What if press conference? Yeah. That press conference, and of course, we saw some of you there even carrying placards. So you can call that a protest, really. Yeah. What if you know? By July, when they go on recess, this bill is not passed. No, they what won't, is they, your other option? No, no, they won't. What they, not because, not because you promised. They have made, like you have said, they made promises even to pass it by March. Here we are in June and it's not been passed. So what next if this doesn't get passed before they go on recess? We've been, we've been made. We believe they are going to. And that is why we are not resting on our hours. Because the civil society community are not going to be the direct beneficiaries. They are the same people. And so... We believe that they are going to listen to the fears and to the yearning of Nigeria. Does it sound and like Nigeria does not is not asking for too much? Okay. Does it sound like you're capacity? pressurizing the National Assembly? You know why Amaka asked that question? If if within two weeks it doesn't happen, mm -hmm. what next? Because the there are processes, and so it might not fall within the time. Even he has said two weeks. That's why why she was asking if it doesn't happen. I think, I think from the information you know, we have, very briefly. presently, the processes, the bill we're talking about is already at the second stage. They've almost completed okay. work. We won't be asking for the passage okay. if there are still okay. work so to be done. So you're optimistic. Yes. Hopefully we'll have a conversation about this right. much later. And <laughs> Thank you. Thank we're you hoping so and praying that we get that bill passed because it's going to benefit all of us. Well, Kenneth yes. Eze, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Yes.